What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Jadie Joe Day, and I am back with another freaking video. And as you already see my title, I have not done one of these in the longest. A get ready with me chit chat video. I know y'all like, girl, what you gonna be talking about? Honestly, I was talking about all kind of stuff. Really what came off the top of my head. Somebody told me to talk about social anxiety. I'm not good with talking, but I kind of just tried to say what I had on my mind. But that's neither here nor there. If you're new to my channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Also, turn on both post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a video. And if you're returning, welcome back. And anything else I gotta tell y'all? Not really. I'm trying to get back in my mojo. I'm sorry if I seem all over the place and really like just extra sorry is coming together. I apologize. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm starting off bare face, nothing, you know, really going on. And we're gonna turn into a baddie in five, four, three, two. Okay, so I'm about to get ready. I know y'all like Jada. You have not done a get ready with me in the longest. Like a talk through get ready with me. Look, I know. Like I probably, I can't even, it was a year ago, a year ago. And I don't even think I talked through that, like Valentine's Day. So I haven't talked to y'all in a minute. I'm very chatty and I usually do live, but why not put this content onto YouTube? And a lot of y'all like, Jada, where the videos? Where the videos? When the next upload? Blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay, yeah. Let me just record all my thoughts. I just like live a little bit better because I can get y'all instant thoughts and y'all instant responses but that's whatever so oh my camera battery's dying really really can it okay wait down to two camera batteries i don't know how i got down to two camera batteries i actually had four for my m50 i got four for my canon m50 and i got six for my g7x but <sighs> all the m50 batteries just I don't know where they went. So I'm about to get dressed. I am not going anywhere. However, I'm about to shoot some content. I'm about to record a haul. My friend Kai is launching her boutique. This is her second release and she will be dropping on July 15th. And I told her that I would do a haul so I could get y'all, you know, to go shop. She had a lot of cute pieces. I think this drop is the best one yet. And that's what I'm about to get ready to do. I'm about to do my face. I'm about to do my hair. I have in tape-ins. I got these about a week or so ago. My lashes is hanging on for dear life. I got my lashes done the same day I got tape-ins. But I ripped them all out because I was really anxious. So, yeah, not cute. Go with the flow or whatever comes to my mind. I know I got topics from y'all. I was going to do a girl talk originally, but I'm just going to let it flow naturally. Um, a lot of people said they want to talk about social anxiety. And so, like, I'll kind of feed off of that. And wherever I go with it is where I go. A lot of y'all want to know what I've been up to, where you've been, what you've been doing. I have a life update coming soon, so I don't want to really talk about exactly everything that I have going on because that's for a whole nother video. But just know that I've been working and I've been kind of getting all of my stuff together as far as like my future and what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of months to a year. So I've really just been trying to assess my situation and think about what it is I really want to do. I'm young. I have so many different options and opportunities that I could be doing, but I've came to the final decision that I will let you guys know later. So I'm not going to speak too much on it, but I will definitely let y'all know. I've just been working on stuff behind the scenes because I learned that you cannot talk about everything before it happens because if you do, if you do, like... It just not just don't do that like just wait till everything is set in stone wait till you know for sure and then you talk about it kind of winding down for my summer i really had plans to just travel the whole summer i was gonna be out of the country i was gonna be here i was gonna be there you call me where you at i'm not answering i'm on the beach i'm in mexico i'm in puerto rico i'm in fiji i'm in brazil like i was gonna be everywhere that was my plan that was my goal but it just didn't go like that because I mean it's it's cool and i mean a lot of like trips can be work related but i have to kind of sit down look at everything that i'm doing am i being as productive as i can be doing and i have to kind of i'm not being as productive as i can be doing and i feel like i would be a lot further if i was more productive and i'm not gonna say like I don't be working because I really do be working hard and I really worked hard my birthday week which is why I stopped posting for like 
two weeks or whatever but i really need to put my best foot forward i don't feel like i'm giving this my all anymore when i know i can like i'm i'm really in a space like i'm really in my in my mode like y'all know i tell y'all this all the time when i get in my mode it's nothing that can stop me not anything like, i just need to focus i feel like i've been focused on see this is why i don't do get ready with me because i'm not getting ready i'm talking okay so primer okay but back to what i was saying i feel like i've been focused on a lot of the wrong stuff a lot of the girls wanted me to talk about social anxiety okay so i think when was it that summer walker had the big thing that's when i started seeing a lot about social anxieties when summer walker had like this when summer walker first came out not first came out but y'all know when she first really like started doing shows and people was like you know she don't do much or whatever that's when everybody started kind of thinking about social anxiety and kind of acknowledging social anxiety i feel like as far as my age group i don't know if it was really like a big thing before but i know that's when like a lot of people started like talking about social anxiety and like being very open about it i can say that i realized i had social anxiety once i graduated high school and i feel like over time it has only gotten worse i would really say like what can i say when did i really notice it i feel like when i went to college i oh yes that's when i noticed that so okay when i went to college okay so like it's normal to be shy it's normal to be scared to like talk in front of a lot of people you get the jitters you know what i'm saying you be nervous or whatever but what's not normal is feeling like lightheaded like you want to pass out like because you have to talk to people or see people that's not normal and that's like how i feel like around new people like i overthink it i i don't know how to describe it so like i had a public speaking class my major required at, which i think all majors require a public speaking class and i'll never forget like i would cry y'all like i would really cry because i just couldn't do it and then here i am i'm a youtuber i talk to a camera i talk to thousands pe thousands of people i post online i'm doing this i'm doing that but i had to really sit down and realize like i don't know how to interact with people in real life outside of the people that i know and that really like opened up something you know within me to think about because it's just like yeah it's cool that you can talk to a camera or whatever but if you cannot interact with people in real life that's not okay that's literally not okay and i will say that i am getting better with it but i still have a lot of ways to go so that's when i first noticed it is when i got to college like i really just wanted to be around the people i know and it's just like it's not that like i really get anxiety like if i'm walking in a room i don't look at people and I, I don't know how to describe it because i mean a lot like i was on live one day talking about it and one people was like it's your confidence you're not confident and i'm like no i'm very confident in myself however i'm just not confident in people i think i don't know people's intentions i don't know people's huh, i don't know how to describe it but like i'm really like terrified of people that's what i came to realize like people scare me and like it's really weird to talk about and think about being the fact that people be like you not shy you not shy there's no way you shy no i really am and like i said i didn't realize that till i graduated high school i feel like in school i was so like known and like sheltered like i felt very comfortable like around anybody that i was around because i knew everybody they knew me so it's just like i didn't have the I didn't have a reason to feel uncomfortable, if that makes sense. But when you're thrown out into the water with a bunch of fish that you never seen before, and they never seen you before, they don't know you, it's kind of tough trying to open up. And it and I think that's another reason why I didn't do well in school because I was stuck under my once I got my little friend group, which was Didi and Tori, I was stuck under them and I couldn't like talk to nobody. I didn't talk to nobody in my class. I didn't talk to my roommates. Like I really didn't have nobody to socialize with outside of like my two, which nothing is wrong with that. But that's like when you are supposed to be exploring. Like I didn't talk to nobody in school, y'all. I swear to God. Like that's the crazy part about it. I didn't meet any new friends, literally. Nobody, nobody like knew. And so 
That's when I really like first started noticing that I had some type of anxiety disorder, social anxiety. Now I'm not gonna say I have a social anxiety disorder cause I haven't been diagnosed, but I truly feel like the symptoms are there. I'm not dramatizing them. Like this is how I feel. So like since leaving school, and let me let me fix my eyebrows up a little bit before I finish talking. Conceal my brows. But once I got home from school and I kind of got out of that, it just got worse because that, I don't know. I feel like, if I can be honest, I feel like YouTube played a major role into that. So it's like a blessing. Don't get me wrong. It's very much a blessing. But like when it comes to like talking to people, it's just something that just my soul it just be like i cringe and i do relate that because y'all i've worked a job before i worked at mcdonald's that was my only job but i worked at mcdonald's for a year my 11th grade year and i kind of think like i miss a lot of i'm not gonna say a lot of monumental character building moments because i kind of just straight up hopped into my career really fast i didn't really like in the type of career that I'm in, I'm not talking to people, not talking to people in real life. Like I'm talking to people virtually. So like if I'm not act interacting, there's a very much different, interacting online, interacting in real life are two completely different things. Like that's why I don't understand when people try to associate the two because there is no association at all. Like I can talk to you all day, like, online like text you all day there's people that i've had full-blown friendships virtually but when it comes to like well i'm not even gonna say that i don't know how to describe it y'all i don't know how to describe it because like if i try to explain to y'all how i feel y'all gonna be like what don't make sense though like i guess i just i don't know but i will say it got really bad when i got home like not even when I got home, when I moved out. That's when it got bad. When I moved out by myself, oh my God. I was home, not interacting with people. My dude was working. Like, that's when it got really bad. Because if I'm not interacting with people on a daily basis, I'm kind of just thugging it on my own. I'm not going out the house. I'm not leaving nowhere. I'm literally at home with just me, my thoughts, and social media. And like, TV and stuff like that. So that's when it really got bad when I started living alone because I just wasn't talking to people on a daily basis. Like, I didn't have no human contact. I started door dashing, Uber Eats, Instacart. Like, I never left the house. And that's very not good because you need vitamin D and you need human contact. You just do. You, it's, it's essential. I don't care what nobody say. I don't have to see people. That plays a role on your mental health, not seeing new people or interacting with people it really does and so that's when it got bad like i didn't want to go to the grocery store for myself like i wanted to call my grandma like hey can you go here with me pick me up and do this can you go grocery shopping with me like i didn't want to do nothing on my own and that's not a good thing because if you scared to be around people or see people but another thing was it's like i said youtube I'm constantly thinking about like if I go here do these people know me are they looking at me or you know like a lot of times I'll go places people just look like people just look some people speak some people just look and it's like okay are you looking at me because you know me or like what is it and I don't know I kind of I'm far from a celebrity don't get me wrong I'm far from a celebrity I know but I am very paranoid I feel like I watch too much news I watch too much TV and you never know who's watching you to a certain extent and with this big of a platform again it's not the biggest platform but it's big enough for like a little small town as small as this you never know who's like keeping up with you you like i never i will never know who watches me sometimes people say oh i watch your videos people at my mama job watch my videos like that's the thing like i don't know these people i can't these people recognize me but i don't recognize them and that's the scary part because it's just like uh I don't want nobody to do nothing to me crazy but it's also like i can't hide forever like i can't 
stay in a house because I'm scared of people. And that's a big chunk of it. A big chunk of it is safety. That's where the anxiety comes from. I don't know who knows me, who thinks I have this or have that. And, you know, maybe want to get at me or something like that. You never know. So, like, that's why I pretty much feel like it got worse. Because I'm only going to get bigger than what I am. You get what I'm saying? It's only going to continue to grow. And it's just like, I got to handle it the best way that I can. I'm not going to lie though. I'm getting better. Slowly but surely. I'm just trying to take the negative thoughts out of it. Once the negativity is going and you look at people as human, which I try to do. I try not to be too scared of people. That's when you kind of be like okay people are we are human but you cannot neglect the fact that some people have bad intentions that's just what they do that's some people just are not good people and that's the part that scares me but um i do have a very social i have very bad anxiety and another thing that affects is friendship making friends and being around people i'm passive and passive aggressive like, I will know that somebody is doing something wrong to me or mistreating me, but I won't say anything. I won't say nothing. And that's the problem that I had. Like, y'all, I, I forgot who, somebody said something about my my um, roommate story time like a, like a while ago. And they was like, oh my God, that's how I found you. And I'm like, ew, that's how you found me, my roommate story time. Cause I was very much like a, like I was, let's talk about it. I was childish. I was literally just doing the most. Like I could have spoken up for myself, but I just chose not to. And I'm not gonna lie to this day, I still have a problem with that. And I don't know what it's gonna take for me to be able to just set boundaries and fully stand beside what I said. What am I talking about? <laughs> What am I talking about? Oh, setting boundaries. Okay. So, y'all be asking me for advice with this stuff. But I swear, like, I'm going to be honest with y'all and just tell y'all, like, I'm not the best. Because I will set a boundary in my mind. But the moment someone breaks those boundaries, I freeze up. And I feel like people use that to their advantage. People that know me. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people, a lot of people use that to their advantage. I'm not going to cap. But um, the moment I'm put in a predicament of someone trying to break those boundaries or like, you know, I don't stand by what I say. And that's just still a, ever like of a thing that I'm growing by. I'm getting better. I keep saying I'm getting better at setting boundaries and sticking beside them. Because I told myself like, like I told myself like I'm done like just doing stuff because I... I'm very much a person who cannot say no. Someone says, hey, can you do this? Or can you do do this? Or ask me for something or anything. I'm always going to say yes because that's my heart. But I had to learn that you can't always be the knight in shining armor. You can't. You have to do what's best for you. Sometimes you don't feel like it. Sometimes you're not able. Sometimes you just don't want to do it. That's just what it is. Sometimes you just, that's not your place. So, like, I had to come to terms with, like, look how anybody feel. Like, they feel some type of way about me not wanting to do what they want me to do. Then that's just their problem. That's not my issue. I'm not obligated to do anything for anyone. And so, I'm trying to get into the setting boundaries thing. But I'm not going to lie. It's tough. It's really, really tough. It's not the easiest thing to do. Especially when you have... The kind of heart that i have and y'all be like oh my god here they go talking about hearts when i say the type of heart that i have i can't say no i can't say no i don't know why everybody be like just say no it's not that easy it's not that easy i don't care who you are it's not that easy to say no like and i'm the type because i don't want to disappoint people like i won't respond or i just would like try to ignore it and it's just like that doesn't work as an adult you have to grow up and just if that's not what you want to do you don't want to do it say no thank you i'll pass or no i don't have it no i can't do this oh no i have something else to do like you just have to grow and to do that so yeah
again my rambling session is over because <laughs> i just went down a big rabbit hole of rambling about anything because i don't know how to stay on topic okay but <laughs> i'm not a very vocal person y'all i always said if it was between public speaking and writing i would pick writing every time because i can write out my feelings my thoughts all day but when it comes to talking and like flowing i'm not very articulate i don't know how to put what is in my mind into words without stuttering and like adding additional words and like flowing off into other stuff i don't know how to do that <laughs> so i'm kind of all over the place and i know i'm not finishing topics but this is just kind of like a rant i guess we can put it a rant get ready with me talk rant but back to what i was saying how do y'all feel about the CERN stuff? So I really didn't know anything about it till like three days ago when people started saying like, don't drink on July 4th or don't do this, don't do that. I'm not going to lie. I kind of consider that kind of dramatic, but <laughs> I'm kind of gullible. Okay. Not going to lie. What can I say? I'm green. My anxiety because the way like social media and stuff was making it seem like the world was finna end. <laughs> And I can just vividly remember like 2012. They said it was supposed to be, they did this in 2012 or whatever. And they said that was supposed to be the end, but it didn't work. And so like, I can just vividly remember December 31st, or was it December 21st? They said the world was gonna end December 21st, 2012. I can vividly remember that day because I remember it was so windy outside and I was home by myself well, with my siblings. And it was so, so windy outside and I think Somebody got arrested that day, I think. Somebody got arrested. It was either December 21st or December 31st. And I vividly remember, like, it was so windy, like, loud outside. And I was like, hey, God, this is it. This is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Like, this is the moment. And, like, I just remember that, like, in 2012, what, I was 11. So, like, I don't, I'm very scary when it comes to that. Like, it took me a couple of years to watch the movie 2012 because I really thought that was what was going to happen. So, thunder yeah i'm a very scary person that's something y'all would come to come to know about me i don't know if y'all think like i'm really tough or whatever but no i'm scary as hell like everything scares me and it's just crazy because i shouldn't think like that because i have and believe in jesus but everything scares me so like when they said that, I was like, oh, I'm not going nowhere for the fourth. I'm not doing nothing, which I didn't plan on doing nothing for the fourth anyways. I'm not too big on the fourth. The fourth, like, it was fun when I was younger because, like, I cared about being around people. But now, mm, I'll get in my bed. I'll get in my bed easily, very quick, fast, in a hurry. So, yeah, that's kind of how that went. But, um, yeah, I ain't messing with the, uh, the CERN. It's just a lot of stuff that's going on that's weird to me. And I feel like that's why, like, my anxiety is super high right now. Because, like, where I live, there's been, like, six earthquakes, six or seven earthquakes, like, back to back to back in June alone. And I know they say, like, oh, we have earthquakes, like, many earthquakes like ever so often you just don't feel them but no these are earthquakes that we could feel and so like i'm like what's really going on and i know like we learned like the about the tectonic plates and stuff like that and they say like california oh like y'all know they say california gonna be underwater in a couple of years so i wonder like do that still stand or like what's going on with that is that still like what's going on and maybe that's why we haven't all this movement because california finna be underwater uh so <laughs> i don't know i'm just really i think about everything in my mind i just i feel like my mind never sleeps i'm always thinking i'm always stressing stressing not stressing sometimes i'm stressing sometimes i'm not but i'm always thinking about all this other stuff like i'm thinking about the people in my life what they got going on i'm thinking about you know their situations like i'm always thinking and it's just it's very toxic and i feel like that's why i don't get no sleep for real because i'm always thinking always i'm always thinking about something <laughs> whether it be me my career my mama career my brother career my mama career my daddy career i'm thinking about something but i'm just finishing up this makeup 
I'm super excited to do the life update for y'all. Once I get all the information back for y'all, I've been holding in this information because I haven't completed everything. But once everything is set in stone, that's when I will do the chit chat, talkity talk talk with y'all. But I ain't gonna lie, I just been missing talking to y'all, sitting down verbally discussing. I don't know if y'all know, I don't know if a lot of y'all transfer over to Instagram, but I watch, I mean, I go live pretty often talking to y'all. I be on there running my mouth all the time. And that's what get me in trouble because I just be on Instagram live just talking, talking, talking up a storm. We happen to stay off of Instagram live because I get on there reading questions and answering questions and I gotta learn how to just shut up. <laughs> so I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta love hate relationship with Instagram live but yeah I'm always on there talking about you know topics that happen during the week or like stuff that happened with me like I'm always doing that but I just want to kind of talk to y'all and sit down and just have a little chit chat with y'all while I do my makeup because I feel like I haven't done one of these in a long time and I don't know like I just be wanting a it's a very relaxed video said suggested a get ready with me and I said oh yeah that sounds cool so I said I'm gonna get up I'm gonna go I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna record this is gonna be a strictly recording day so I did go up to the car place they got my car y'all gonna have to see in the vlog what happened because I ain't gonna talk about it on here because that's for the vlog but just know I'm supposed to be getting my car tomorrow Today is July the 6th. I'm supposed to be having my car on July the 7th, which is tomorrow. If I don't have my car by the end of this week, because she said something like they got to calibrate it, and if the man can't do it, they got to send it to Mercedes. So if I don't have my car by the end of this week, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind, my everlasting mind. I can't wait to do the story time on that, because I know it's been a long time coming. Because anytime I get on live, what y'all ask me about? Y'all asked me about school, y'all asked me about my car, and y'all asked me about my <laughs> That's all y'all asked about. And I'm like, Jesus, day, what more? Like contour, hit it with a little color, bring it back. Because you know I got all this highlight. But we're almost to 300k, baby. We're at like where we at? Where we at with it? Where we at? Okay. 200 i'm almost at 277 276 thousand subscribers and some change like 276.9k that is amazing like i just want to give myself a pat on the back i want to give y'all a pat on the back like i really really love y'all like i was doing my looking at my memories y'all know iphone creates like memories for you and like i really started youtube like three years ago three four three three four years ago years ago and it don't even seem like it been that long like and it's like everything is so different now i don't know that's the crazy part to me but like i've been riding with y'all for a minute y'all been riding with me for a minute it's so many new people too it's so many new people some of the people who've been here from day one like y'all really be on the wave and my new people like that's crazy but like I really want to do something big when I hit 300k. Y'all know I do like a giveaway or something like that. When I hit 300k, I want to do a big meet and greet, like a real meet and greet. I know last year for Vlogman, but I got two subscribers to come down here and I gave them $500 a piece and they went shopping, we went to go eat. It was just all around a good time, but I'm always thinking of things to do for y'all because I really appreciate y'all. Like, I don't know if y'all understand, but like, this is a big deal this is a really big deal so like i try and show y'all my appreciation in different ways and i can't wait till i hit 300k i'm almost about to hit 200k on instagram i have like 191k i think that's crazy i have a bone to pick with instagram though instagram is changing their algorithm and i am not fucking with it at all like why am i i understand the for you page i understand that but why on my actual timeline am I seeing people I don't follow? I just want to know. Why? I don't follow these people. I don't know these people. Why are they on my news feed? Like, I don't like that. And I don't like why they're trying to do all these ads. And they're trying to push all these certain accounts. Like, that's very, very irritating. Because, like, 
that affects content creators and stuff like that even though i don't really do content on instagram which i'm trying to get into but that really affects content creators because if they're not showing the people that follow you your content then where's your content going you know what i'm saying and there's been a drastic drop in like everything and i'm just not here for it so instagram need to get it together that's not the way to go i want to see the people i follow if i wanted to follow other people that's who i will follow but i don't follow them therefore you need to show me the people that i'm following <laughs> i really want to call them and like tell them that but i started peeping a little bit it first started with my spam page because i would be on my spam page and i was like i know good and darn well i'm not following all these people on my spam whole time it's people i don't even follow so then i get to my main page that's when it started feeding out because you know instagram updates people pages differently so like my spam for some reason it updates like this all the new updates come to my spam but none of the updates come to my instagram to like a month later so i started noticing like who is this who is <laughs> Who that be so like i started noticing and i'm like what why is they doing this so like instagram that's ghetto if you watching this cut it out so that's another thing but all around i'm just focused on better myself um i'm just kind of talking to y'all just you know all over the place I need y'all to be hip i need y'all on board a lot of y'all already know if you follow like my instagram lives y'all know a lot of the stuff that's already coming up but if you don't you know keep up with the lives then you're gonna have to tune into that video to see everything that's gonna be going on it's nothing too crazy um but there's just a lot of adjustments and stuff like that and like it's one thing that i kind of feel crazy for doing but i feel like it's very much necessary so like y'all gonna see in the video but um yeah makeup's about done i'm trying to think of anything that else that i want to talk to y'all about i don't want to cover too many things a lot of people said they want me to talk about credit i'm gonna do that in its own particular video because i feel like that doesn't go with the with the way of this video per se I'm buying a lot of higher end makeup products lately argue with your mama but i definitely see the difference in my makeup routine now that i've been buying better quality products like the only thing that i use the cheapest thing that i use is probably my eyebrow pencil everything else is like higher end makeup like my makeup is estee lauder i'm using a lot of fenty chart like little stuff like blush and like highlight those are you know drugstore but for the most part like my base makeup my primer my setting spray are all higher end and i ain't gonna lie at first i thought it was a myth but higher quality products do the job okay not gonna lie um my makeup lasts all day my makeup still looks bomb like from the time i do it to like the time i take it off and i definitely think that me buying these better products plays a role I really need to stop putting heat on it it's pretty much i really could just wear it how it is i don't need a super crazy curl in it for it to be cute that's the that's the beauty of these tape pans like it's given without me really trying too hard but i might put a little curl in it just a little bit how y'all feel now for the lips the lippy brown outline per usual chocolate brown but it's thundering now it rained on the fourth of july it's just been raining up a storm isn't isn't summertime like tornado season though if i'm not mistaken isn't that like a thing 
think it's tornado season. I just finished curling my hair. I'm about to spray a little bit of holding spray on my hair. Just a tad because I don't want it to be stiff. But I do need a little hold. I'm about to go throw on an outfit real fast and I'll be right back to close out this video. Guys, so I just finished curling my hair. I'm going to do a light comb out. Just to keep a little bit of the curl. But this is pretty much how I've been wearing my hair, whether it be in a side part or middle part or a ponytail when I'm at home. Yes, I'm all ready to record. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I kind of was rambling all over the place, but essentially that's kind of what a get ready with me is. I do have a makeup tutorial coming because I know y'all got, I know y'all are going to ask. So when that comes, I'll have all the products and stuff like that. But I really just wanted to kick back and talk to y'all and just you know be here and y'all just see the process of me coming together nothing major at all i'm about to go record this is one of the pieces that i will be displaying in the haul but you guys have to wait till you guys see it thank you all for watching this video i love you all and i will see you guys in my next freaking video <laughs> Ooh.